I am going to discuss, uh, explain about the new pressure calibrator MPI DPI 610E. Uh, this is uh, I am going to uh, show on calibration of 0 to 10 kg hot EVO hot transmitter EGM model, model and uh, what to rearrange and uh, trimming units change everything I can also show. Uh, it is having integral pump with the internal barometric sensor. So we can able to read barometric pressure as well as pseudo effect. We can able to read gauge and absolute. And this range is available from vacuum 0.95 to 35 bar various ranges, starting from 350 bar And the model which I am having is minus 0.95 to 10 bar. So now I have connected the pressure uh, pressure transmitter. This output port which is hand tight only. And this is a release valve. And there is a fine adjustment is there. And this is a pump. Here we have knob is there for selecting vac vacuum or pressure. Pressure or vacuum. The plus is there for positive and negative is there for negative uh, vacuum. So according to a requirement you can rotate it and keep it at top. So I connected the hose to the transmitter and this is the pressure transmitter with a 0 to 10 kg. So now, now it's a rechargeable battery operated lithium ion. Once it is charged for uh, it will take 2 hours for fully charge and it's having capability to withstand the battery up to 90 hours. And here are the terminals for electrical measurements. So if these two is for 2 wire measurement, it will give loop power, it's minus and plus, it will give loop power and measure the milliamps. And it's saying voltage measurement also and V volt V output of 10 volt and this is saying loop power 24 volt also and it's saying milliamp simulation 0 to 24 milliamps for ITB converter. So it's basically a pressure transmitter calibrator, uh, pressure transmitter, pressure gauge, pressure switch and ITB converters can be calibrated in a single instrument with inbuilt hot can uh, configurator also. So here is a power on switch and other than that it's saying touch screen as well as functional key. So if your hands are good, we can use the uh, touch screen or if your hands are not good, we can able to use this functional key which will be useful for us to safeguard the touch screen. And there is a functional key as well as the up down arrow mark key. So this is a dashboard, once you switch on, this is a dashboard. You can go inside the calibrator or hot calibrator like that. So once you go inside the calibrator, the earlier this was checked with the one hot menu and the channel 1, channel 1, channel 2, 2 menus are there. Channel 1 is for pressure and barometer internal pressure or internal only barometric indicator or pseudo that is gauge with absolute so we can able to measure absolute also in channel 2 you have milliamps measurement milliamps simulation and hard feature also so you can able to select only measurement of current or simulation of current or hot any one at a time so now here if you talk about the uh, channel 1 we have functions are there pressure and then some difference or nothing but if you are going for a additional external sensor you are able to go for a sum or difference and there is a barometer is there if you go for a barometer it will indicate the actual atmospheric pressure of your uh, local local display and then if you go inside then you can want to use for normal pressure calibration go for the pressure and also it's saying rtd measurement also you can go with the reference rtd what we can able to supply as option or temperature measurement so pressure, if you go for internal or external, it's saying external sensor up to 1400 bar. So in internal, normal means it will go in normal gauge mode. Pseudo means the effect of barometric sensor, it will read both gauge and absolute. For example, if you select this absolute, absolute uh, pseudo mode, now you can see the full scale register of 10 bar, it's showing 11.15 bar. So it addition of gauge and absolute, now it's showing 1 bar. So whatever pressure you are vacuum applying, the absolute value will get changed. And here it is showing the reference atmospheric barometric pressure also. So now we will go to channel and we will go for pressure with normal pressure. This is a gauge mode. And here you process is the units are there. If you go inside the units, sorry, you can able to change by using up down key, you can able to select the units. And number of digits also, you can able to change it according to your requirement. And then here hot is there. Come back for go for hot menu. In the bottom display is show the hot. So here you can able to select this hot menu. You can use address if you want what is the address you want. If I uh, find the first device like that, you can able to select this hot menu and all. Okay. Then you can select here. No transmitter you have to connect it. So now I'm going to connect the transmitter here. This is for negative. This is positive. Now if you put search, 
it will select one pool and so now it's automatically connected once you put search it is connected to the transmitter and it will showing the what is the prior range you can see that one is a 10 bar range full scale range of the transmitter and showing what is the milliamps 3.95 there is a zero pressure now it is a zero pressure showing 3.95 milliamps is there and if you want to zero trim if you go inside you have various options are there unique id that is something for device manufacturer device type device revision all the details will be there about the tra hot transporter and then device information is tag port address and date and all you can able to vary change it also and measured variables is what is the present hot pv pressure value 0 0.0 minus 0 0.029 is there and what is the loop current 3.95 and percentage of range it is showing channel one primary is actual pressure what you are applying from this pressure calibrator and what is the loop current 3.95 it is showing here and signal condition here we are going to change the uh, units or vv units are there if you go inside you can able to change the units select the units and tick back you can able to select the units and the lrv also you can go inside and select the numeric keypad and select this lrv and urv also you can go inside and select the through keypad and put enter you can select the urv and then that's all and these are the main things and sensor information present value is the sensor what you are supplied in kg per cm square originals which are supplied by the manufacturer yoko goa the lrv is from minus 0.95 to 142 kg so that can be rearranged according to our requirement now presently it has came with the elevation of 0 to 10 kg and services services nothing but these are the services we can able to do by using this calculator loop testing we can do da trim you can do and pressure zero so we can try for pressure zero as this uh, pressure value is showing minus 0 0.029 so we will try for pressure zero in zero trim is there for zero trim this is for okay put okay this asking confirm zero trim put okay and now it is showing zero zero so we'll come back Back, this is a back key. So now we can see the zero escape. Earlier it was minus 0.029 and 3.95 escape. So now once you zero uh, zero trim by making to zero, now the milliamps also came to 4.000. So this is the thing. Now while well, you can see here also 4 milliamps is coming in the local display of transmitter. Okay. And one more thing I want to highlight here is, is in the hot menu, this uh, service information, there is a DA output trim is there. Just for if, if you want to do the output trim, you can able to do it. First, it will apply the 4 milliamps, then put OK here. Now, the 4 applied and measured also same, then put OK. So, the low trim value will be saved. Now, we can put for next. Now, 20 is applied, then put OK. Now 20 years measured also also 20 years coming. So now it is getting calibrated. Now you can do the acceptance. So we are done the DA trim also. So both we are done. Uh, we are done the pressure zero trim and DA trim. So now we will go for calibration. Uh, taking the readings. So this is 0 to 10 bar. I will apply 0, 2.5, 5, 7.5 and 10. We will come take the readings also. Here is a pump. I'm holding here and generating the pressure 2.5 here it will show you the bar graph also what is the pressure I'm applying now we can see that we have set a 2.5 bar here and you can see there also in this local display also. It's okay. Now we can generate the five or five kg. Hmm. Now we are setting five. Hmm. 
it's a 5.9 5 and 4.9 and 6 is coming so it's almost accurate only you can see here a local display also so local display also coming 5.00 now we'll apply some 0.5 Now I set 7.5. Wait, wait, wait. It will, it's taking some responses slow, so we have to wait for the time. Sensor is response time. So 7.5, we are getting this 7.495. You can see here also. So here also it can exactly 7.5. And you can see the milliamps also here. We are getting 515.990. Nine four. Hmm. So now I am setting the ten bar. It's a full scale range of ten bar. As I say here, it is ten kg. Sorry, not ten. You can see the milliamps also is a response just wait because it's taking some time for responding also see 9.19.995 is coming pressure is 9.995 and current is 19.995 is coming at 10 and here also you can get this uh, 9.99 you are getting local display also 9.99 kg is coming so now it is almost accurate since I, we are done before uh, doing pressure itself we are applied zero trim and uh, da trim also so we are getting well within the limits that's all now we can release the pressure and detach the instrument uh, electrical signal center once the pressure comes to zero Okay, so you got it 4 milliamps, right? So here you are getting the 4 milliamps also. So once you come to 0, you are getting the 4 milliamps here. Hmm. Yeah, 4.004. 001 is coming. That's all. Now we can switch off the instrument and disconnect the leads. Off, off.